<sighs> well, if I'm elected president, I will make sure the vice president is a female. Joe Biden says at the Democratic debate against Bernie Sanders. First of all, Joe, way to pander, man. I mean, hey, I mean, the girl, I don't know her name, but the lady that was doing the question, she seemed very shocked and she seemed kind of happy when Joe said that. And Bernie Sanders kind of wiggly around it. He said he wants them to be qualified, the most qualified vice president candidate. That might give him a couple of blows from the feminists. But at the end of the day, this is why we lose as a country, guys. You know, and I'm going to make a video about this later on this week, but why do we have to be Democrat or Republican? You know we can switch it up, right? You know we could. Like, if America tomorrow, there's probably about, I guess, 200 million adults in America, and I guess about 75, no, 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 probably about 90 million registered voters, and the rest of us vote during election years and don't register the rest of the time. If if half of us, if a good 20 million, like I'm talking about a good 20 million strong, just said bump it. Let's vote for a third-party candidate. Let's choose. It don't have to be the Green Party. It doesn't have to be Libertarian. Let's just choose a party. Let's focus on it. Like, if we just chose a candidate to focus on and got behind that candidate and said, if you do these things, we will sponsor your campaign. Forget the PAC. Forget the um, companies and the corporation, the lobbying. We're going to support you. 20 million people, if they all donate 10 to $20, this is a little to support a campaign. You got to remember nowadays, campaigns don't need as much money as they used to because you have social media. And they can just hit the hotspot towns in a couple of small cities, get enough votes in the decent areas. Now, let's go ahead and just try to get maybe a couple of states just to get on the map. I'm talking about like after you have a couple of states turn that whatever color the third party would be, yellow, green, white, um, baby blue, whatever you want it to be. If we could just convince a couple of states to do this. And I'm not even saying win election. I'm just saying show that there's pushback. They might actually change. But they know you won't. They know there's black and white. They know there's red and blue. So Joe Biden can say stuff like this and people think it's a good idea. My vice president will surely be a woman. And you know it's going to be a minority woman. And you know it might be Kamala Harris. And I know nobody wants that. Because you have five women really in the running for president. You didn't vote for them Super Tuesday. A lot of them didn't make it a Super Tuesday. And now you want to bring a woman along. First of all, it's hypocritical, America. If you want a woman that bad, you should have voted for one at the primaries or some Super Tuesday. But you didn't. If you want a woman that bad, you could have had Hillary Clinton. But you didn't like that option. So now it goes back to the old trope that you need an old white man to get somewhere in life. You're going to have an old white guy, Joe Biden, who everybody thought that was going to be Obama 2.0, but they're realizing that he's crazy Joe for real. You're going to have an old white guy give you a female when you could have actually chose her for the, run, for the actual spot. I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, if he dies, well, stop hoping for people. That, obviously, you know politicians ain't dying at 77 anymore. They're dying at 90. And that health care is just awesome. They got that awesome health care. So I don't think Joe Biden would die this term. Trump probably not going to die this term either unless his coronavirus really is going to eat him up like they say it will. But I have a video about that. You should go check that out too. But anyway, Joe Biden saying that he will make sure that the vice president that he's running with is going to be a woman is absurd. It shows that he really needs the brownie points at this point. And he, he's going to get him because Bernie Sanders, the way he reacted and the way he took too long to kind of fabricate an answer when the lady asked him. Um, he turned off a lot of women and men feminists last night. I really think he did. So, Bernie, come take your seat at the couch with us. We got quarantine medicine ready for you because, you know, you are one of the elderly that were scared that might get the virus. And we're going to let Joe go ahead and run against Trump in this um this child's play election, which is it's almost unfair. You know, it's going to just be one guy saying that he's approved the economy the whole time and one guy saying that he used to approve the economy with Obama. It's going to be present tense. Versus past tense. It's going to be present lies versus past lies. But you don't want to talk to another candidate. Get 20 million deep people strong behind this candidate. Get a couple of states to go for this color. Instead, you'll vote for your blue or your red. So that's all I got to say. It's your man, Chef from Off the Dome. Make sure you go find an independent candidate that you support or like. And hopefully one day we can start an actual movement instead of talking about it. Instead of talking about how both are bad and ain't worth nothing. How nobody 2024, nobody 2020, nobody 2016, nobody 2012. Instead of saying that, how about you go find somebody that you can build up from the ground up. 
hold them accountable. Ah, nah, that's too much work, guys. You know, just vote for your red and blue. It's your man, Chef from Off the Dome. Peace out. I'll see you later. Salute.